Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. It is that time of year again where it is a, a reason for the season I would say. So today we're going to talk about how to use Lexica to create Halloween clip art. So if you're one that you're shopping a lot in Hobby Lobby uh, or any other craft store, Michaels, and you're buying Halloween decor, Hey, why not make your own? Let's start out with using Lexica. So if you're interested in learning how to make clip art in less than five minutes, stay tuned. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about how to create Halloween clip art using Lexica. So let's get started. Okay, right now we're on the Lexica screen. And as you know, it's that time of year again. I know I should have put this video out a little bit earlier, so I apologize. But if you're looking to have um, maybe make cutouts for your digital business that you want to sell um, or clip art that you want to sell for your digital business, definitely this is an option that you can use. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a search in Lexica, depending upon what you're looking for. We are going to say, let's say Halloween clip art. So we're going to do a search in the search bar. And let's search. Now, as you can see, you get all different kind of Halloween clip arts, which is really cute. It's like background papers that you can use. And if that's, you know, something that you might not like or whatever. Like, say, for instance, look at this one. It's really, really cute. Even that one is adorable. And even the witch's head is really nice. So, let's see which one will catch our eyes. And let's go for this one. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Wait, let's make sure. You have so many options, you just don't know. But anyway, we're going to try that one. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy that URL. Okay, exit out. We're going to go back to the top. And we are going to click on generate. I'm sorry, guys. Give me one moment. We're drawing. Okay, now we're going to enter in our prompt. Okay, that was not the prompt that we wanted. Let's go back and see if we can find it again. One moment. Okay, so we're doing a Halloween. Clip art. Let's do a search again. And I seem to have lost the one that I was going to use. Don't know what the heck happened. Okay, this one is cute. Let's try this one. Let's say copy the prompt. I know what I did. I copied the URL. Dum dum. Okay. So we're going to go to generate. We're here at the top. We're going to put that in. And let's see what it gives us. And this gives you an opportunity. Now, I guarantee you, you will not get the exact same picture. You will get something similar. And look how cute that is. <laughs> that is so cute. And you can actually go back in. Um... And say so this is a cute stuffed Halloween character skeleton with tattoos wearing a ripped black hooded shirt with glasses. Let's try a stuff let's try whimsical. Traditional color Halloween character okay let's see what we get that will probably make it a little bit different okay so we're running into an error it could be because they are extremely busy this time of my recording 
So I'm going to copy it back in and let's try it again. Oh, wow. Isn't that cute? This one here says WB. <laughs> so now you're getting different styles and types. And now if there's any one that you like or that you might want to see another uh, picture of, let's say this one right here. Okay. Let's try to regenerate four more pictures of that one and see what kind of different designs we can get. And these would be the different designs you would get. And you can choose from those that you would like. Anything that you like, all you have to do is click on it. I'm sorry. You can download it from here. This is your download button. You know, or you can also put it in later where you might want to receive, um, reserve for your likes column, which is right here. You can add a heart to it for love. Now, if there's a particular picture that you might have found, okay, let's, let's go in and let's try Pinterest. Okay, guys, so we're back. Now we are in Pinterest. And let's see if Pinterest have any designs that we might want to try. Let's try this cute little girl here. Okay, let's see what we get when we pull her up on Pinterest. Okay, that actually brings me to Timu, which is, so that's not from someone that's created it. That is actually an advertisement. Let's see, that was an Etsy. Uh, I'm trying to find one that's not linked to, that's not going to bring me straight to their page. It seems like everything in here is an ad so um just to give you another idea of what you can do to search i've got one better let's get out of this one let's go back into google okay let's do a halloween let's do whimsical halloween um art okay let's see what we come up with and again we get more etsy pictures and basically what i'm just trying to do is give you an idea of how let's let's try this one here this is a really cute picture we're going to take a quick little screenshot of that picture okay we got the screenshot we are going to go back over to Lexica. Okay, guys, so we're back in Lexica. Let's go back to the home page. We are going to go back to the search section, and we are going to pull up that picture there. Okay, and let it generate and see if we can find a similar picture down here at the bottom. Do it. Okay, didn't work as the way I thought it was. Let's try it again. Okay. Okay. Now down here is trying to give you similar pictures. And these are really, really cute. Oh, wow. I really like this one. So let's try this one. Let's copy the prompt. Okay, let's get out of it. Let's go back to generate. We are going to clean up this one. Add the prompt into this one. And then generate. Okay, we are working in real time, so that's why I'm so quiet. I apologize. Look at this. this. This is what we got from that picture. Is that crazy or what? How cute is that? 
And you can also look and see which one that you might want to, you know, you can, like I said, tweak it by going to the top and adding more things to it. You might want to make it look more of a Pixar type uh, picture. If you would like to do that, again, I can pick which one, like this one here, I think it's really, really adorable. And pick different, um, see if it can generate it differently or what are other different kind of scenes that you can get. Now, the great thing about this is if you have, you can get your Alexica account and pay for an account. And with Lexica, you get four different images. It's easy for you to grab all these images and put together in a package deal and sell it as clip art for your digital products. Very simple to do, very fun, very easy. Uh, make sure that before you do, you sell any of your art that you download from Lexica, that you send it to a third party website and make sure that the image quality is upgraded to 300 dpi okay because you want for when they do download that image you want that image to be very crisp very clean and you know you want to give away a great product you don't want to just give them anything so please be um mindful and take those steps so that when you do upload these um to your website to sell that they are great crisp sharp images for your uh, customers to download, okay? Guys, thank you so much for uh, watching today, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good day.